Well, how are you doing? Hope it's been your day, your week, your month, or even your year. I've been looking forward to this for so long. I think it was originally due for release November this year. It's been pushed back to March. There was a couple of posters released yesterday, so I'm thinking, yep, the promo campaign started, it's kicking in. We're going to get a trailer in the next couple of days or so. But lo and behold, the Creed 3 trailer has dropped this very night. Rocky's no longer around in this one. If you've been following Stallone's Instagram, over the last few months there's been a lot of anger, a lot of accusations, a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. It seems Stallone's not involved in this whatsoever, not even as a producer. He's clearly very betrayed by this. He's letting his feelings known. Man, I hope it's not the case that they've actually killed him off and we end up seeing Creed going and putting that foldable chair from behind the tree and sitting talking to his stone. Don't want to see that. As far as I'm concerned, Rocky lives forever. But what we do have is Michael B. Jordan back as Creed, facing off against Jonathan Majors, a stacked Jonathan Majors, if the posters or anything to go by, playing Anderson Dame, his opponent. Now that's a name. But before we do anything else, hit that like button and support this video. Here we go, Jordan versus Majors, Creed versus Dame, Killmonger versus Kang. No pain, no pain, no pain. I spent the last seven years of my life Seven years? Living out my wildest dreams Bianca They got it all Rocky. My dad This was built on their shoulders That's a pain respect Hey my man, can I help you? Let me get an autograph Nah, I ain't signing the autographs, but you get off my car You don't remember me, huh? Amy. How long were you like personal? Up? 18 years, bro. Just got out last week. Glad to have you back out, huh? I know I've been away a long time, but I kept myself in shape. I still got gas in the tank. Come by the gym. Gas in the tank. Thank you. Curious, what happened with you two? I didn't tell you. We was like brothers. Mm, I was the best, though. Man, I never got a chance to prove that. That's cute. I know what you're doing, Donnie. You don't owe this to nothing. Damien's fighting the world and he's trying to hurt people. I vouch for you. You think you mad? Try spending half your life in a cell. Jesus. Why does somebody else live your life? I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Something is going Anger. on with you. Damien was like family. We pass talking. Then maybe you just have to find him. That's an Adrian speech. Some of my methods you might disagree. Really? These are family ties. I recognize mine. I know that they needed me. Traumatic stress. Watch a man of sex. I'm not only fair. I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? What you gonna do? Threaten to take my breath? I need you to take all your fear. Take all the guilt. Let go of whatever was and walk into what is. I feel those chains are breaking, yeah. I fear God, I don't fear death. I see those strings and take a step. It's pretty intense. Oh, yeah, yeah, directed by Michael B. Jordan, also, yeah. That's pretty intense. We haven't had that in a Rocky film before, that, that personal connection with the opponent. Apart from Rocky V, I think, but then that's Rocky V really stands up that they've actually got a proper actor to play the opponent this time. Carl Weathers aside, who have we had before? They have been just kind of either real-life boxers or wrestlers. The rest have just been these fear... I mean, obviously Dolph Lundgren, and then I can't remember who played his son in the, in the last Creed film. They were just these huge characters that weren't hired for their acting skills, per se. Even though they've made careers out of it afterwards, obviously. But Jonathan Majors, there's a real presence there. And they've got that backstory, it looks like. And Majors' character has done time. And it looks like everything Creed has got, he believes should have been his. And he's kind of just very angry. So there's his personal tale. Creed seems to have everything. He's got that life, the family, the daughter we saw there. And it looks like coming back into contact with, with Dame. That, that, you know, there's that element of guilt about it all. So he's trying to help him. And obviously, from the looks of it, it all goes very wrong. Not much given away in terms of 
of the fighting. Michael B. Jordan directing. I think it's his first time directing. So time will tell how that works out. It does look like a very emotional story, though. It has all the classic beats that you would expect from this franchise. But yet again, still bringing something new to the table. I am going to miss Stallone, but I am going to be there opening day for this. But that was good. That was good. I had everything that I'd want from this film, apart from Stallone. But what do you think? Are you keen for this? Are you looking forward to this? Will you be going and watch it in the theatres? Or is it a case that no Stallone, no ticket? Let me know. Leave comments down below. And if you like this video, please show me that you did by hitting that thumbs up button, tap subscribe, hit that notification bell. Really appreciate any support you can give. But hells yeah, that was a good trailer. I'm looking forward to this. Hope you enjoyed it too. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you again soon. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.